Let's meet Jack. Jack has been appointed as a data scientist at Acme Limited. And his first task was to analyze a data set of 2 GB size. Now Jack has to find out a way to generate insights from this particular data set with minimal effort. But Jack has other problems. Size of the file is huge. And Jack thinks can I use a spreadsheet? Or can I automate this analysis? Now comes the most interesting point, Cognito. Cognito is a new library which has been launched in Python community which help you to solve couple of issues like help you to fill missing values intelligently, helps you to clean your data using command line, it can help you to auto pre-process your data, audit your data quality and finding interesting patterns. And most importantly, it auto generates interesting insights from your data. So let's see how we can use Cognito in our real world example. Let's go into our terminal and let's run the command pip install Cognito. Once you run this command, the Cognito libraries are all over the world accessible. So it immediately goes and install this library. Let's wait for it. Yes, now our library is installed. Let's clear the screen. Now how can we verify? So, Cognito. Now we can see our library has been installed. First and foremost, let's do a basic pre-processing for a data. We are having a data set, which is, you can consider the data set. Now you can see this is a data set, which is having few categorical variable and few continuous variable. Let's do a pre-processing on this data set. So let's come here. Let's go into that folder, Cognito, prepare, hyphen M is the mode, ML is the module, and we have to pass the input file, that is the file name, and the output file as COVID-19. Now we got a file generated inside this folder called COVID-19. So let's open the file and check it out. Now we can see all the categorical variables have been auto encoded and it has been properly mapped. Now I can properly run this particular data set into, a, into an ML model. Let's close this. Also we can do one thing. Once the analysis, once the data preprocessing has been done, now we can bring back the data into its original form by going into that directory and running the command cognito inverse it asks for two options so we need transform now let's go into the directory you can find there is a file which has been generated after the analysis with the original categorical variables encoded now let's do the most interesting point of it. I can see this file here. Let me run Cognito. Audit and I'm giving the input file name as and I will give an output as a report. Cognito automatically generates a very interesting report which can be accessible by this file. Once we open this file, now we can see it gives a meta summary about the data, the number of missing values, total categorical, continuous. And here you can see the descriptive statistics about each data. And the most interesting thing which comes here it is an auto generated questions. You can see, you can even listen to it or you can type for highest, lowest or if you are interested, 
you can even give a voice recognition like highest population it's not there or even you can just listen to an auto generated story by based on the given data set here is the interesting insights found by cognito there are totally 13 features in that three a categorical variable and three a continuous variable highest last update was 74 of province state and way is and way lowest last update was one of province state bavaria is bavaria highest confirmed is 14766 for province state hubei is 14766 Lowest confirmed is one for province state Chicago is one. Highest deaths is five hundred fifty six for province state Hubei is five hundred fifty six. Lowest deaths is zero for province state Zhejiang is zero. We can understand. Cognito simplifies the process of data preprocessing and automated data storytelling. Thank you.